It's an important step in the pursuit of limitless zero carbon power. Officials from the U.S. Department of Energy spoke about the significance this morning. In achieving ignition, the researchers at Lawrence Livermore have opened a new chapter in NNSA's science-based stockpile stewardship program, enabling us to study new regimes. Along with this, we have taken the first tentative steps towards a clean energy source that could revolutionize the world. So what does this all mean for our future? Well, the scientific community is buzzing about the possibilities. KPI X5's Wilson Walker spoke with the experts. Two, one, shot. And of course, what fusion offers, right, the, the thing that most people are most excited about is this possibility of clean energy. If fusion is the energy holy grail, Lawrence Livermore appears to have taken a step towards it. Um, they use this large laser called the National Ignition Facility to create a system that produced energy by thermonuclear fusion faster than it lost it. So when you take all of the energy that they put into this system, they exceeded that by a significant margin. UC Berkeley's Lee Bernstein knows some of those involved with the project, and he says the breakthrough goes beyond the energy possibilities. For example, the plasma that's created is not unlike the core of a star. This is a reproducible platform to let us study the way that elements and energy are evolved in stars and stellar interiors. So for nuclear astrophysics, this is a really big development as well. And I think that, you know, I know it's not the one that everybody is super interested in, but it does have this angle as well. More practical applications like power are years or decades down the road. You're gonna have to bring the engineers in, and they're gonna need to say, how do we make something like this work in the form of a power plant? But the science of fusion is moving ahead and is picking up speed. So what will happen in another year? or 15 months, I don't know. Wilson Walker, KPIX Bot. Congressman Eric Swalwell celebrated the breakthrough, saying, I commend the scientists and researchers for their hard work and dedication that led to this monumental scientific achievement. And I will continue to push for robust funding for NIF to support advancements in fusion research. 